What things I do for YouTube? <clears throat> Is this white face? <coughs> mm. Oh, I'm not black. I'm white. Hey. Raindrop, drop, drop top, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot pot. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Hey guys, it's me Shade, aka Shady Bangs, aka Life Size Brad Stall, back at it again with another video, son. Now before I get into this juicy video, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to turn on notifications for my video by clicking that bell icon so that you don't miss out when I upload and on my videos. So y'all know what this video is about. It's a makeup hack that I've been known about, okay? I've been doing it. It is applying powder before your foundation. Now, like, I think two years ago, I made a video called Sweat Proof Sex Proof Makeup. Gonna leave it in the comments right there for y'all to check out. And I briefly mentioned applying powder before your foundation so that it can, you know, lock in and last long. And I've been seeing a few beauty euros on YouTube make some videos testing it out, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys how I've been doing it, all right? How I've been doing it, all right? I also share some tips on how to keep your makeup sweat-proof, sex-proof, to withstand this summer heat, and uh, maybe if you're gonna be having some Summer sex, ow. I think that was the shittest wink ever. If you like matte, durable makeup, you're gonna definitely like this video. And if you like this video, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and maybe a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next. Okay, now there you go. <laughs> Guys, look at the sweat. Look at the sweat on my face. I've already prepped my face. I've, you know, cleansed, toned, I uh, put on my moisturiser and if you'd like to know, you know, what products I use and all their jazz, check out my skincare tutorial. I'm going to put the card right there, so click on my skincare, like, routine. And now I'm going to prime and for my primer I'm using 2 by NYX, the pore filler and shine killer. I need it. I need it. I put moisturiser on about, I want to say like 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. This is sweat because it's so hot. I got oily skin, okay? Y'all can see. Shine, shine. That was me. So I'm using these two primers. Um, the pore filler is a dupe for the, uh, which one? The Benefit one, Pore Professional. And the Shine Killer, I believe, is a dupe for the Smashbox uh, primer. I can't remember the name, but these are dupes and they work just fine. I don't feel like you have to be that extra with primers. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> the powder I'm using is a favourite of mine. Y'all would have seen this on my channel because I've been using it. It's the Anti Shine Powder by Creolan. Absolutely love, love, love this stuff. Now you don't need to put like a shitload on like I've been seeing in some videos. You don't. All you need to do is just dust it on your face and obviously your face is going to feel dry which is good because as you can see I am shine shine. I am sweaty betty. So it's gonna soak up all the moisture, all the oils. It's gonna act like a barrier and in theory it's going to stop the oils that you are naturally producing from interfering with your foundation and coming out all blatchy and sweaty and ew. Uh-uh. It helps your foundation adhere better, so as a result, your foundation will be longer lasting. You can already see my face is looking hella matte. Yes, I got that coke nose. Oh my God, I'm looking like my ex-boyfriend's knees. Ashy. So for foundation, I'm using my Kat Von D Locket Foundation Phase and also my Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation. I really do love the Kat Von D Foundation. I know a lot of people say that it's cakey, but yes, it's thick, but this seriously won't bud. The Inglot one is slightly sheerer, but it's still, oh my god, I've got boob sweat. This still does cover shit up but it's just not as heavy duty as the Kat Von D one. But I love them both, I love the shades. So now I'm gonna apply them as usual. Using my 104 Buffer Brush from Zoeva. Okay, I definitely do notice that with the powder, it's not as, it's not as easy to blend into the skin. Like the foundation doesn't really sink into the skin. But as I said, that's because there's a barrier now. I, I do know that I have to push it into my skin, but with every push, I feel like the foundation is really like setting in place. Oh shit, I forgot to color correct. Can you see my face is definitely not dewy at all. The powder is soaking up any sign of moisture. Like, it's gone. 
Vamos. Now I'm just gonna use my booty blender to push it into my skin so it looks really, really natural. Hey, it's me again. So talking about like sex proof, sweat proof makeup, I had to mention this product. Now this is the NYX eyebrow gel. You would have seen it in my eyebrow tutorial. I'm always using this. This seriously is the one you need in your makeup kit. This eyebrow gel, oh my God, it has stayed on overnight. It has stayed on through sex. Eyebrow's still there. This stuff is amazing. You need to buy it. Mwah. Okay, so my eyebrows are done and I'm gonna continue doing my makeup and then I'll come back to you guys and show you how I finish it. All right, see you soon. Okay, so makeup done or whatever. To finish my face and bring back some moisture to it because it is hella dry. What I noticed when doing my makeup was that it was really hard to like blend out products, which was kind of annoying. But, you know, I worked through it. I worked through it. So that is something you have to be aware of. But I'm going to use Max Fix Plus Spray to bring back moisture to my face because sometimes when you're using like, a lot of powdered products, you can look a bit ashy and a bit lifeless. So this is going to bring me back to life. Shout out to Evanescence. Who remembers that song? Bring me back, bring me back to life. <coughs> We're not going to be doing that. So I'm going to spray my face. Mm, mm. An alternative is to use a mixture of rose water, glycerin and distilled water and you can make your own Fix Plus spray if you're on a budget. Now to actually lock in your makeup, I really, really, oh, I highly would recommend you invest in a setting spray. Now I own four and I'm going to show you all four of them. The first one being Drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Fixing Mist. It is pretty darn good. It's accessible because obviously it's drugstore, good price point. Um, the only negative is that because the product consists of a liquid and like a sediment at the bottom, you've really got to shake it well. If you don't, like if you're in a rush or something or you forget and you spray it on your face without you know, mixing it well beforehand, you're gonna be left with white dots and that's the white residue from the sediment. So make sure, yeah. Shake it, sh shake it, shake it, shake uh it. -uh. You don't want to be left with white freckles. I mean, maybe it could be a look. I don't know, I don't know. My next setting spray comes from Kiko Milano and it is their face makeup fixer. It comes in an aerosol, unlike the L'Oreal one. It's super straightforward to use and works really, really well. I like the price point. I mean, Kiko isn't exactly drugstore, but their prices are really, really cheap. I tend to use this on a day-to-day -day basis. So if I'm doing, you know, a bit of shopping, you know, going out for a short while, this is when I bring this bad boy out. So my third fixing spray, y'all would have seen this all over my channel. Like, yo, a lot of you guys have told me that you've gone out to buy this uh, per my recommendation. So that's always good. I'm glad that, uh, you know, I'm helping you out. Gotta help a sister out or a brother. And this is the Creolan fixing spray. Creolan seems to be my favorite brand, but I swear this isn't sponsored. However... Creolan, come holla at your girl, come holla. So it comes in an aerosol and they also do a version, a smaller version in a spray bottle. However, I prefer the aerosol. I feel like the product doesn't distribute well in the spray bottle and I much prefer aerosols, even though they're like bad for the environment. Sorry. It's not very practical because this is the only side that comes and looks like as, as long as my head. Uh, but I still take it when I'm traveling or whatever because, you know, it does the job. It does its damn thing. Part of the reason why I love it and why it's so great is that it's actually specialized for theatrical makeup. So it's used in theater. So with actors and, you know, they're under such heavy, intense, hot lighting. So if it's good for them, it's good for me. So I usually use this on a night out. I get this from a store in Kensington in West London called... Is it West London? South West London, my bad. Guru Makeup Emporium, and they have an online store as well. Krilla. So my last fixing spray, or setting spray, is called the Green Marble SLR Spray, and it is also part of like theatrical makeup. It says it provides a tough film forming barrier to seal theatrical makeup, shake well before use, and it also says for professional use only. Hmm. It is my strongest spray and for that reason I did dilute it into, one sec, I popped it into this uh, NYX Dewy setting spray. This was really hard to get and this is like, as I said, I'm not sure if I did say actually, this is my strongest setting spray so I don't actually use it that often. But I remember scouring the internet so if I can find the link to it I'll leave it in the description box. I know you can get it in America, just not over here. 
in Europe. Ugh. So if you're looking for something heavy duty, this is your bad boy. I'm gonna use the green marble spray mixed in with my NYX spray because I want my makeup to last long today. Jesus. The smell is so strong and alcoholic-y. And yeah, that's my makeup done, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, they hate, but she mad, though. I don't even know what the words are. So I'm gonna check in with you guys in about, I don't know, 10, 12 hours, and we're gonna see how my face is looking, see how I be looking, and all that. So I'm gonna check in with y'all later, all right? Mwah, deuces. Hey, guys, it's me again, P-Head, reporting for duty. Yo, like, like, it's me again. Black trousers, d, &D again, ow. All right, so it has been almost eight hours and this is my face. Like, I look very, I think I still look good. I look dewy. Like, you can see some shine. Oh, it's even wet to touch. You can see shine there, shine here. Where obviously, where I put the highlighter, it's a bit wet. Well, not wet, but moist. But I really, really like it. I love putting powder before my foundation because it just locks it in. Like, I've been filming the lights. I couldn't like open the windows because of the noise so it was hella hot, couldn't put the fan on or whatever. But my face, my makeup's still looking good and I'm going out, okay? I'm going out like this, son. Yo, dry skin, do not do this. I don't even know why you be doing this. You don't even need to do You need moisture in your face. But if you are hella oily, if you're going to be out and be sweating, you know, under the sun, do this. You need this okay but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please please give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on leave me a comment if you've tried this before and how you feel about it okay because i'd love to know if you have a video suggestion and all that yeah i'm gonna leave you guys i'm feeling a bit hot and delirious so peace out a town down bye